What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Big Country Customs coming back at you with another amazing sort of video. This one's about my pool. The uh, first things first. If you guys put the skimmer on like I installed, it makes a great pool overflow. All the water comes out of this hole over here and it doesn't even get all the way up to these, uh, these right here. So that works out great because we just had a huge tropical storm come through. Pool never overflowed out the side or anything. It's just been pouring out of the top of the skimmer right now. I am getting the water level back down so it can actually skim. And yeah, anyways, the video is about the pool, but it's not about the Intex pool itself. It's about the Intex vacuum. And one video not too long ago, I said that I liked it and I would recommend it. It does clean the pool very well when it works. Um, I've done everything I can. And here in a second, the video, I'm gonna show you guys me taking it apart and showing you the inside, showing you that it's clean and showing you guys how it works and try to figure out why it doesn't work because I have already had it apart and I still have no clue as to why it's not working for me properly. Um, pump pressure is good, pressure is good coming out the line. Everything is doing like it's supposed to. I've backwashed before I've, and then rinsed and then did it and I let the pump run for 10 minutes like the instructions say. Plug up the vacuum, still no bueno. So what it's doing is it will, you know, be scooting along the bottom of the pool and it won't change gears to go the other way. So it'll hit the side of my pool and just stay there all day or for the three hours that I run it at a time. It'll just literally stay just pushed up against the wall because it won't change gears to go backwards. The way that pump works, it's got a little gear drive inside of it. And I'll show y'all guys in a little bit uh, it's got a little gear drive and it spins a little fan the pressure does and it turns these gears which makes something makes a valve close and go back and forth and that dictates the water pressure which dictates the way the the vacuum is is being pushed in the pool so my problem i'm having is not not switching gears and going the other way so after i get this all drained out i'll probably um uh, take my cleaner apart i pulled it out last night cleaned everything and that way it could dry out during the day and i'd be able to take it apart on my workbench today so i'll see you guys in a minute all right guys uh if you hear any background noise it is this it's over a 100 year old piece of wood pretty pretty uh nerve-wracking to work with and work on uh but it is like some antique from somebody's great 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 grandfather or something they used to use it to connect the oxes or the horses to plow the fields so if you hear any noise this is it which brings me to my next point if you want to see wood projects even though this is a pool video don't be afraid to smash that subscribe button it'd be greatly appreciated uh let's get to the cleaner all right so in order to take this thing apart there's a nut up here and it shouldn't be as tight actually it may be pretty tight uh i just know that when i first took it apart i had to use a strap wrench to get get it um i'm gonna go ahead and use the strap wrench again here unless i can unscrew it no i cannot so just undo this nut up top first the big one you'll see it. it's got little grippies on it and i'll show it to you in a second once i get this thing on here if you don't have any of these to work on your pool with i highly recommend them I've actually had to buy a bigger one so I could get my plastic piece off at the top. So I got a bigger one than this hanging up over there. And it just loosens it right up. And I could not budge this with my hands. All right, just hold the bottom piece because it will fall out. And it's got this washer on top, don't lose it. All right. That's what the nut looks like. Kind of like reverse threads down in there like that and the washer goes under it. Now that's out, we can set this big piece aside and here's where the problem is, somewhere in it. So to take this thing apart, I use a little screwdriver. I did not prepare for this video. It was kind of spur of the moment type deal. So let me find a little screwdriver. Or actually, a big one work fine. Take your time with it. You don't want to break these tabs. Pull this down a little bit more. 
You don't want to break these tabs, but you kind of got to shimmy them one at a time. Get a little space and then go to the next one. And once you have that little space there, don't let it close. And then when you go to the next one, continue to push out. Like so. And then there we go. Alright, as you guys can see, this thing is spotless, and I'm about to take this cover off right here. Let me get a drill. And don't get mad at me for using a drill on plastic and set on one. And I even tighten it up on here and the drill stops and I can still hand tighten it. So hopefully we can figure out what's wrong with this baby. I don't think we're gonna. And I'm gonna show you guys how it works here. All right, so basically inside here, let me see if I can get y'all a view of it. You see that little white pr propeller? That turns when the pressure comes down the pipe and it turns this little gear here on the outside. Said gear rotates on big gear and as this turns, after it turns enough, you should see this white piece click forward. And mine does so. And this is why I don't know why it's not working correctly. Because I do not know why it's not changing gears. This white piece, the inside here, pushes on this flap right here. And my flap is not changing directions to change the propulsion from one side to the other. So what I'm gonna do this time, which I didn't do last time, is take this piece out in here. Because this thing is only three months old. No rust, everything moves freely. I'm just looking for something broken. Don't lose your screws. And if there's nothing broken, then I don't know what's wrong with it. In here, we got two gears. This is your little oval thing. And it gets spun by... I don't know what it gets spun by, actually. But everything... I have no mis messed up teeth on it anywhere that I can see. Everything's nice and clean. Nothing's messed up. And this is why I'm wondering why it won't work. So, took it apart. Kind of make sure everything lines back up. I do see a little bit of like some kind of gunk up in here, which is strange. I don't know that I can get these. Uh oh, there went all my screws. Smaller screws go in this part, larger screws go in the other part. I don't know if I can get that gunk out of there. Or, uh oh, it could be grease or something. not really coming out but at the same time it should not perfect Im impact the performance of this thing it is kind of getting stuck so that might be if this is my problem and you guys are having this problem the problem might be right in there so I'm gonna try my best to scrape the gunk off the screwdriver which is actually pretty darn difficult so I bet if I get huh. yeah it's just kind of freezing up in there not hard I can still rotate it but 
It's not, I don't think that would be enough, honestly, to mess with the, uh, the fin that spins because it, it, a lot of pressure is applied during this. I'm wondering if I put some kind of spacer in there that would keep it from going in that far up. Or maybe it's not, it won't even go that far up anyways. Let me see. put this thing back together you actually put the pin in the grooves of this okay that's very important Okay, so off camera, I'm gonna try to get that gunk out of there and I'll let you know. Uh oh, I just lost a walk there, so I think it goes in here. Oh God, where do you come? Where did you come from? I gotta figure some stuff out. I'll let y'all know what happens. All right, so I do have a salt water pool. You know, and I'm thinking that there will used to be some sort of metal washer or something in there that either rusted away, which I highly doubt because that was really fast. Or for some reason that got really hot because in some places it looks kind of burnt. Let me get y'all a close up. I don't even know if it's gonna focus, but you can see how there's discoloration on the plastic. So I wish I had a new one so I could compare it and see if there was something inside of there. But what I basically did was took my Zacto blade and took any crud that was in there and got it off. And then I hooked this side up to a very small drill and ran it with it pushed up to try to like smooth out any surfaces or anything. And it spins real freely now when it's pushed up to that position. And I'm wondering if it's getting cocked sideways because it's not staying out. And I'm wondering if that is making it um, get stuck. So much that could be happening. But I got that cleaned up to the best of my ability. So let's put this thing back together real quick and put it in a pool. All right, so I found this little plastic piece earlier. This actually goes on to this right here like that. So to put it back together easily, I put this elongated portion all the way on this side over here, the opposite end of the butt cheek. And then you just slide this in here and try to line that look and line that little plastic piece up with a groove like that and then you know you have it in there see I don't have it in there because it moves freely so you have to pick up and just move it a little bit there we go now it's seated in and we can do a ops check you can see the gears in the bottom turning and you can see that piece right there closing slowly okay so to put it back together, I like to have that actually out because it's easier to see when it's out here. Let me go ahead and put the small screws back in here.
I think like all of this is 3D printed. <laughs> back in there and what I was saying about this being outward um, you can then flip this to the right flip it this way and lay it in there and it should go right into that groove and it did make sure everything is lined up and then you can spin the gears to see if the flap changes direction and that's how you know you just look down in there and there's a little flap all the way at the bottom you can kind of see it let me spin the gears a little bit oh, I spun the wrong way See it work its way back. So you can see there's nothing wrong with this thing. So if it don't change gears, I don't know what's wrong with it. So everything is intact, everything is working. Gotta put the screws in before I put the cover on it. And then it wouldn't work at all. And I know it couldn't have rusted out because these haven't rusted one bit. So I don't know what almost caught fire in there. Maybe it was just a piece of debris. Who knows? Like all this dust on my workbench. I just belt sanded something in the bottom sitting here and took it apart. So. And then this obviously just snaps right back into place. Like that. Now we're gonna reinstall it to our unit. I should say the housing. Turn it upside down. Okay, there's a notch. There's notches on this plastic piece and they gotta line up with the notches uh, or the little extrusions on here, okay? And you could probably accidentally put it in the wrong way. Just make sure these are about the same distance from the holes. I'm not sure if you could or not. While you're holding that in place, go ahead and put your nut on there with the washer. Make sure you're holding it in place because you don't want to tighten it down when it's not in the notches. Okay. In place, give it a little snug and dug with the old strap wrench. guys obviously don't tighten it too much but you don't want that to work loose uh, while it's doing its thing okay let's go put it in the pool all right so my pump's been running this whole time since I've been uh, inside so it has ran for the 10 minutes uh, so I'm gonna actually just hook it up while the pump is running I'm not gonna turn the pump off just so people can't tell me that it needs to run continuously for 10 minutes and then you hook it up so let me get all this piping on there and we'll throw it in the pool. All right, got all the air out of the system itself. There's probably definitely air still in the pipes. Easiest way to put this thing in while the pump's running is screw that piece on first and then come back since this is kind of like a quick connect, just throw it on there and give her a twist. That came all the air bubbles. Let's see if she does some reversing. Okay, so she's changed gears so far. So the other day, what happened was I came out here and it worked fine after messing up the first time. I took it apart, brought it back out here, worked okay. Uh, turned the pump on for something. I think I had to drain water out of the pool, turn it off, turn the pump back on and it wouldn't work again. Now she's, she's reversing and stuff and she's doing what she's supposed to. Um, I mean, only time will tell. 
So what I'm gonna do now is uh, disconnect it a few times and see if she keeps reversing because that's what I did the other day. I just disconnected it. Disconnected. And I just backwashed and rinsed my sand filter pump because I had to get all this water out of here from the storm. Put it back up. See if she reverses. See, that's what it would do. It would just get stuck like that. But we'll see if she changes gears. <laughs> she ain't doing it. There's something wrong with this thing. I don't understand what it is. And you guys saw it. You saw how clean it was inside. Yeah, there was something in there, but I cleaned it out. Unless it was supposed to be some washer that burnt up, which it shouldn't have burnt up, being only three months old. But she's connected. Pump's running, you can hear it. So, moral of the story, don't buy this thing. I think I'm gonna look into one of those pool sharks that they sell that kind of go to your suction side because this thing you can see pumps running plug her back up and see if it like resets it but it just sucks you know i can't go inside for an hour and expect it to work the whole time I took I brought it out here without the unit on there and plugged it up and it was changing gears just fine when I tested it the first time piece of trash guys waste of money she lasted two and a half months don't buy it well y'all unfortunately we did not fix the, the the vacuum that's gonna determine the name of this video probably something like don't buy the Intex pool vacuum um, said I've had it for two and a half months you can go back and see maybe three months you can go see when I posted the videos on setting up my pool that's the time frame that I've had this so don't don't buy it. if you in the market don't get it works great when it works don't get me wrong works absolutely great when it works but for it to break on me and quit working after trying it six, seven times so far and opening it up twice and trying to clean up a, a spot that I did find the second time, still no bueno. So don't buy it. Waste of money. Get you something better. Look look up a pool shark thing. I saw somebody have one and it goes, it's compatible with these skimmers. So if you have a skimmer like this, look that up and try to maybe get one of those because they said they loved it so that's what i'm gonna do i can't believe it makes me so mad in text you can do better okay don't rip people off big country out i'm gonna put this in the right order but not two seconds after i redid the did the end of the video i took it off put it back on and it started working again but like i said don't buy this unit you you don't know if it's gonna keep working the whole whole time so it, and it really is not worth the money to have that that problem or fear um anyways just throwing this out there big country is officially out